Christy Stevenson. I'm a fourth year medical student from Dalhousie Medicine, New Brunswick. Before medicine, I was a gymnast and then a coach, and I've always had an interest in athletic injuries. Right now, I'm with Dr. Bob Lee at the Waterloo Sports Medicine Center. In this video, we'll meet Avery, a 12-year-old gymnast with Severs disease, the most common cause of heel pain in young athletes. We'll discuss the symptoms, diagnosis, and management, and what we can do to get kids back to the gym pain-free. Let's get started. Hi, are you Avery? Yes, hi. So, I hear you're having some trouble with your heel. Yes. Can you tell me about it? Um, it started last year, but since then I've doubled my hours in gymnastics. And, um, I haven't twisted it or like landed on it funny. It just kind of started hurting. Severs disease is the most common cause of heel pain in active kids. It is caused by inflammation of the calcaneal apophysis, the secondary growth plate located in the heel. Because this growth plate is not closed until age 13 in girls and 15 in boys, repeated traction on this relatively weak bone from the Achilles tendon and plantar fascia results in microtrauma, inflammation, and pain. Kids typically complain of unilateral heel or foot pain with a gradual onset and progressive course. Unlike plantar fasciitis, which is typically worse first thing in the morning, kids with Severs complain that their pain gets worse throughout the day. Is it sore in the morning? Yes. Is it more sore in the morning or at the end of the day? At the end of the day, yeah. We'd just like to find out exactly what it is. It's a little concerning that uh, she hasn't twisted or, or done anything and we'd just like to find out exactly what it is, that's for sure. Diagnosis is clinical and pain can typically be elicited with the heel squeeze test. X-rays are typically normal. I'm just going to push on you here and see if I can bring it on. Is that tender? Yes. The growth plate in the heel is large, so pain can be felt anywhere, from the back of the heel to the sole or sides of the foot. Over there as well. Children may be more prone to Severs disease if they have limited ankle mobility or after a growth spurt, which causes relative shortening of the Achilles tendon. At the feet, pronation and rear foot valgus can contribute. Because of the pain, some children may alter their gait, adopting an equinus pattern to reduce the strain and impact on the heel. Though this reduces the impact on the calcaneus, it may paradoxically worsen the condition by shortening the calf muscles and increasing the strain on the insertion of the Achilles tendon. So we have a couple things to do before we get you back to the gym. Does that all make sense? Okay. okay. Treatment can be broken down into management of acute pain and inflammation and modification of biomechanical factors which predispose to the condition. Ice, elevation, and physiotherapy can help to reduce acute inflammation and pain. Massage therapy is helpful to reduce tension in the hamstrings and Achilles tendon. Initially, a weight-bearing walking cast worn for two to three weeks may help children walk more easily. This helps to prevent further tightening of the calf muscles and to protect the heel from impact. How does that feel? Any better? Yeah, it feels good. It doesn't hurt to put my heel on the ground anymore. After the cast, or if an athlete's pain is less severe, heel lifts and orthotics can be used. If an athlete has pronated gait or rear foot valgus, orthotics with a medial arch support and heel cup may be helpful. If foot biomechanics are neutral, a simple heel lift may be enough. Several products are available for athletes, including some that can be worn without shoes. Once symptoms have improved, physiotherapists can help athletes improve flexibility, strength, and muscle balance to prevent the condition from returning. An initial period of relative rest from sport is essential, but during this time, coaches can help athletes modify their training to maintain physical conditioning while eliminating impact and strain on the calcaneus. As with all pediatric sports injuries, collaboration and a shared understanding between athletes, parents, coaches, and the healthcare team is essential. In this video, we've discussed the presentation, diagnosis, and management of Severs disease, the most common cause of heel pain in young athletes. With prompt recognition and appropriate management of this condition, most athletes can return to the gym pain-free in four to eight weeks. Thanks for watching.